Hey, what's up guys? Ali here from iSocialU.com and welcome back to my channel. In this video today, we're gonna talk about how do you find the best drop shipping niches and also the top Shopify store. I know this is critical if you wanna start an e-commerce, online business, or drop shipping business. So let's jump right into this. And actually before that, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell icon, and also like this video. All right, now let's jump right into this. So here's the tool that I found recently that I've been using a lot, findniche.com. And it's a best dropshipping analytical tool. I agree with that. And let's jump right into this. There are some really cool things you can do with this tool. Uh, by the way, there's gonna be a link in the description. And yes, relax, it is my affiliate link, uh, and but you don't have to pay anything extra. And actually it's a freemium tool, meaning if you look at the pricing, so there are some things that you can do for free, but if you really have to upgrade, if you're like serious into dropshipping, you can look at some of their paid plans. Again, the link is gonna be in the description, or if you wanna just go directly to their site, you can do that as well. So the first thing right here, AliExpress. So on that tab, basically like the name say, you can search for amazing trending products on AliExpress. And <laughs> look at this, for example, here and here are some filters. Uh, we'll talk about some of these right now. So for example, let's say I wanna sell or create a drop shipping business with uh, consumer electronics. So let's do that. Uh, I want a top country focus on the United States, uh, total orders. So that's how many orders roughly are happening or that for that product. Order uh, growth in the last seven days. So obviously I want something that's growing. So let's select something that has, you know, between 100 to 200% growth. Uh, release date, uh, you can pick that. And also uh, sold on Shopify, so I wanna see what's been selling on Shopify. Uh, and also maybe they, they accept PayPal. So it looks like no data for PayPal, but look at this. So you can play with some of these filters right here. And look at this, so here are different recommendations. Ooh, this is amazing. I know like the smart watches, especially in the holiday season, uh, they do really, really well. So if you wanna create a store, uh, in consumer electronics, this could be interesting. Um, so here you go, and then you can see the trend and also the, the price, and here is the order uh, history and see how it's trending right now, that's awesome. And also what's the profit margin, $36, that's awesome. And then also the top countries this product has been selling into. So, so cool. This is amazing. And then also you can see uh, the number of orders in the last three days, so you can also filter or sort by that. So I, now I'm looking at this video game. This had the most order in the last three days. That's amazing. A number of order in the last seven days, 14 days, and 13 days. And you can look at, uh, if you can click in there, and then here's another smartwatch. Uh, and you see that's the price, but look at the profit margin. Oh, look at that. That's awesome. It's amazing. Uh, and you can also, uh, instead of uh, doing these right here, I can also just search by, so let's say I wanna sell watches. I can sell or uh, search by watches and then look at uh, some of these products. Look at this, and again, I wanna find something that's, let me clear this and show you some other stuff. Maybe it's low competition, and there you go, and also, the last seven day, it's been growing uh, a lot. So 300% growth, and look at this. So here are is some of the stuff that's been growing a lot. And you can always play around with this filter, but the, the key thing is to find trending and niche products for your Shopify store, you can save a lot of time with find niche, all right? So that was the AliExpress. Now the next step right here, Shopify, and as the name suggests, uh, you can search for Shopify products right here. So again, let's take example of, uh, you can search by keyword or uh, you can go through uh, different categories of products and stores. For example, I wanna focus on, in our example of watches, let's do that. Top country, United States, maybe I wanna ship from the United States. I know for some of you guys that's super important, so you can do that. And orders, in, uh, how many orders uh, roughly you want in seven days. So you can also do that price, and maybe you want something that sells between 15 to, I'm just gonna say 65. There you go. And then you can play with these tags, top Shopify stores or products, nothing there. 
let's remove that and then look at this so here is and obviously you know you want to make sure you select the right sort of uh, uh, the filters right uh, competitiveness you can see something with low competition let's see if something comes up there you go that's awesome so <laughs> these watches or these products uh, they are selling uh, in my price range and the, the competition is low and you can kind of like get, again here is the the seven day profit uh, 30 day profit uh, and actually the uh, 30 day orders and also 30 day profits that's awesome and then I can click on this product right here and look at more details here's the and by the way if you want to see this on AliExpress so you can click on this and it'll open take you to the AliExpress tab right uh, if you want to see this uh, being sold on Shopify, you can do that. So you say they're selling it for $39.95. There's a lot of data here. Look at this, right? Very, very cool. All right, so this is how, you know, to, to research products on, Shopify, uh, on AliExpress, you'll go on the AliExpress tab. Then to do research on Shopify, you go on the Shopify tab. And then Nishi is a very interesting tab. Uh, these are the top products or recommended products. So this is also, uh, some of these are added. For example, this was added yesterday. And then you can see the selling price, cost, and profit margin. So again, you know, if your store is based on different trends uh, or what's in, what's hot right now, this is where you can go. Right. All right, the next one I want to show you is the Shopify store. So this is where you can find uh, the Shopify store in your niche, the top store. So for example, again, in very simple, let's say I want to find who's selling watches. Let's see if I can find watches here. Uh, or maybe it's going to be in fashion. Can I find fashion here? Style and fashion, there you go. <laughs> Finally, I found it. Uh, a top country, let's say uh, United States. And now look at this. So here are the, the store address, the Shopify store, the category, and the target countries, what country they're targeting. And this is really, really cool. How many ads they're running, right? And also the Facebook page uh, likes, and then the ranks. And you can also sort by, by these as well. So very, very powerful tool and if you want to go directly to their website and this is top basically for research right if I was starting something and I want to see what other uh, websites or stores are in this niche this is what I would do so for example right here if I go back to on top maybe right here so here's the the fashion store right so it seems like they're really focused on shoes I pick style and fashion right uh, let's uh, here's another one so I can click and then open that store and then look at that so you see how much time you can save I say this tool is uh, amazing for anyone who wants to start a Shopify or drop shipping business uh, this year or in coming year again it's called find niche uh, the link is in the description below, and yes, it is my affiliate link, but as you can see, this tool is amazing, and yeah, you don't have to, totally up to you, they do have free plan and also paid plan, maybe, you know, try with the free plan, and only if you like it, then you can upgrade. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, you know what to do. Leave those questions below in the comments. Before you go, subscribe, hit the bell icon, and also like this video. I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye for now.